The following is a presentation of The Day. Hi, thanks for joining us on Live Lunch Break. My name is Rick Costier. We are streaming at theday.com. We do this every Thursday at noon. As always, in the uh, off-season months, we're in the Telegraph Record Shop in New London. Glad to be with you. Thank you for watching or for being here or for watching later when you're going back on the archives. And it's hot. It's, it's a late October. It's a week before Halloween. I got up this morning to be on the radio at 630. I wore a sweatshirt. That was useless. I raced home, gave the dog some medicine, put this shirt on. It's too hot. I'm not going to take it off and, and embarrass myself, though. So, listen, we have a very special guest today. And... I am so blown away by what he's doing on the guitar at a relatively tender age, at least from my perspective. And if you want visionary, evocative, genre-bending guitar, I-, I can think of Andy Timmons doing September, Andy Powell doing The King Will Come, Andy Ditchfield and the entire uh, d Expos thing. Who am I missing? Andy Latimer from Camel. I think I played you an Andy Latimer song. So I guess what we're trying to get to is here, if your name is Andy, you're probably really good at this stuff. So we have with us today from Groton, working and almost ready to release his Echoes and Promises album, a really impressive musician. Please welcome Andrew Barnes.
That was fun. It was evocative. It was moody, charming, mellifluous. Andrew Barnes, everybody. Uh, really talented stuff. Man. Thank you. Thank you very much. Um, so was most of that from the upcoming Echoes and Promises album? I believe most, if not all of it, was. there. Yes, all of those previous tracks will be on Echoes and Promises. All right. And he tells me, Andrew Barnes does, that this could be out as early as the end of the year. I hope Santa's listening. Um, so think about that when you're uh, getting the stocking stuffers. Now, I at the outset, I was joking about a lot of guitarists named Andy who happened to do sort of evocative uh, soundscapes with... Who has influenced you? Because, frankly, you're a younger guy, and I don't know that popular music today so much as focuses on that sort of stuff. So where did all this come from? You know, uh, honestly, it's coming from all different kinds of directions. I listen to all different kinds of music. I love rock, metal. Um, I love hip-hop and electronica. So I've got all these different influences coming from different genres. Uh, as far as guitarists go, I think some of my biggest influences would have to be Jackie Vincent from Falling in Reverse, um, a guitarist by the name of Buckethead, sure. who does a lot of experimental. I love Buckethead. <laughs> yeah. um, Jeff Loomis instrumental guitarist um, and just a lot of the bands that I grew up with a lot of metal bands a lot of hardcore bands uh, and on the same on the same level opposite end of the spectrum a lot of acoustic bands a lot of softer rock bands Death Cab for Cutie Anne Berlin that kind sure. of style right and by the way if you guys don't know Buckethead he is so called because he literally wears a Kentucky Fried Chicken bucket on his head when he plays and sort of cool and exactly I went as Buckethead uh, for Halloween a couple years ago. I hope you had little eye holes cut out. Oh, yeah. I had the uh, Michael Myers mask, yeah. uh, yellow raincoat. That's what he's got going legit on. Legit KFC bucket. And Buckethead also is fascinated by roller coasters, I believe. And anyway, so I'm curious when I was listening, you have these almost, and, I, and don't because you listen to electronica, you'll know what I'm talking about. There are a lot of uh, modern keyboard players like Niels Fromm or... Uh, Oliver Arnolds that do these almost minimalist simple spare chord structures that are very pretty and evocative but they leave room for this stuff over the top. Did you come up with those sort of things as a basis for this or did you come up with guitar melody lines and then work backwards and put these chord things underneath? Good question. Um, it really goes song by song. Uh, some of the songs, I'll come up with the guitar riff and be like, oh, man, this sounds awesome. Uh, just record it and just start building off of there. Uh, sometimes I'll be playing with a synth and really like a sound that I have. Uh, so I'll just do, like, really simple bass structures and record a guitar off of that. Um, a lot of times what I do is I'm just playing guitar. And when I hear something I like, I record it. And then I'll add some drums, some bass, uh, some keyboard synth. And then when I'm listening to it, I'll hear these little melodies in my head and be like oh man i should add that it sounds right. really good um but yes i do i do like to keep it really simple because then i can add more complex live guitar right. more solos um i think if you have a lot going on in the background it kind of takes away from the foreground so um, this is kind of the same way with um acoustic you know singer songwriter music uh, i like to keep a quiet peaceful guitar in the background so that people concentrate more on the lyrics right. and less on the music I love that. I like there's a lot of thought put into that. We're talking with Andrew Barnes here on Live Lunch Break. I'm Rick from the Day.com with uh, Peter and Richard, your co-hosts here, Michael Manning, the cash register back there. So don't try <laughs> to sneak out that ELP CD without him seeing it. He'll 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 see it. So um, you are also actively involved in working with young people through, I believe, the Gar uh, Groton Parks and Recreation Department, which Correct. I think is a really admirable thing to do. Um, I don't know that kids find all of, and God bless the, the school districts and their music departments. Thank you, Sherry Stidfall back there. But uh, there's so many different kinds of music now that I don't know that they always get to experiment or work. So tell us what you do. Well, basically what we do with free play music is I bring multiple guitars, uh, my keyboard, uh, bass, percussive instruments, and it's very creative, exploratory, um, kind of a free-for-all, structureless environment. 
uh, where kids can just come in and if they want to play a guitar, play a guitar for a couple minutes, come play a keyboard, uh, bang on the drums a little bit, and it's very um, introductory for younger kids who maybe don't have an instrument of their own. Right. Um, because I can walk into a guitar center and w- pick a guitar off the wall and just start playing it. Right. But somebody maybe four or five, they kind of be like, "Hey, buddy." It's like the amusement ride. Yeah. If you're not this tall. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. So. So I, I'd like to make that environment where kids can come in and try out different instruments and see what they like and just have fun with it. I think it's tremendous. Now, it's tremendous as long as you haven't stolen any riffs from these kids. Just kidding. He wouldn't do that. We, we work together. <laughs> okay, fair enough. So this is going to be out by the end of the year. Uh, you foresee in the near future maybe filling the band idea out so you could take it live not that there's 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 plenty of people on the road right now playing to dat tracks by themselves but was that would that be a fun context for you to have a band to interact with i i would definitely love to fill out these instrument parts with actual people and have a touring band that i could go around and play these songs that i've written with real actual people um the only thing that's kept me from doing that now is i just want to get out and write and play the music that i've created and so right now, the best I can do is just write what I've got and play along to a track and just have it be me. But maybe one day uh, we'll see the band. Uh, I don't think any of us are complaining. It's been very enjoyable here. And hopefully you've got some more material for us. Definitely. This is Andrew Barnes here on Live Lunch Break. Thank you guys for being here. Thank you very much.
Well, hell, every town needs a guitar hero, right? Andrew Barnes, thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much for having me. This is live lunch break, and uh, I can't wait for this record to come out. So keep us posted. Thank you guys for taking the time to join us here at the Telegraph. Thank you, Rich. We will not be here next week. Uh, it's Halloween. That's the the day when the veil between the worlds is at its thinnest, and the spirits can traverse back and forth. Now, Rich is going to go as uh, Tom Brady for Halloween, and Peter will be Batman. I will be the antlered pagan god of antiquity. What are you going as, Andrew Buckethead, or you already did that? Uh, I was thinking Cinderella. No. <laughs> <laughs> the band or the princess? How about both? <laughs> okay. Y'all, please look for Andrew Barnes. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you so and much. And thanks for joining us on Live Lunch Break.